In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Sonarworks speaker calibration system known as Reference 4 Studio Edition. In October 2017, Sonarworks released version 4 of their speaker calibration system called Reference. They were nice enough to send me two calibration microphones and a license to review it for you all. If you have used IK Multimedia's ARC system, you'll notice right away that the microphone looks similar and may even be the same make and model. The difference is, Sonarworks calibrates the microphone on their end to combat variances between each microphone. The printed instructions didn't make it clear where to download the calibration file, but the measure software did. In case you were wondering if this is a gimmick or not, as I mentioned, I received two different microphones for the review and indeed, their calibrations were different. The installation process was simple enough. It's easier if your computer is hooked to the internet, but an offline installer is available. Compared to IK Multimedia's ARC, Reference 4 is vastly easier to measure your control room with. I always dreaded remeasuring ARC and in fact didn't remeasure my mix area until recently. My previous calibration measurement was in 2012. I would have no problem doing a weekly calibration with Reference 4. It's really that easy. You don't even need to read the manual. It guides you right along the process from start to finish. Please adjust amplifier volume. My voice should sound in normal conversation volume. Left speaker. Right speaker. What amazed me the most was it came within an inch of my exact speaker distance and computer monitor to listen spot difference. There's definitely some voodoo going on under the hood. Although, it's not perfect. I didn't like how fast the measurement was taken after the spot was found. Sonarworks needs to add an option so that we can set our mic stands down before it does its thing. According to a Reference 4 press release, there will be a major update to the measure software released by about spring 2018, I would assume. So hopefully a delay option is implemented at that time. The microphone itself is on the noisy side. You can record with it, but be prepared to use noise reduction software if your source isn't loud like drums or a high gain electric guitar amp. All right, so the computer's off and the lights, the house lights are off. I only have the video light, which is DC. It's not connected to any power outlet. So it's just the microphone connected to my video camera, which is also running off of battery power. So let me shut up and we can listen to the noise. Version 4's biggest new features include a zero latency mode, system-wide, which used to be standalone software, and calibration presets for 101 headphone models. System-wide enables users to always have reference on. So if everything that you listen to through your speakers, including, let's say, YouTube videos, comes through that, it's a lot easier for you to get used to that sound. Besides flat, you can also set it to other presets. I personally prefer the all average speakers preset. When the Reference 4 plugin is loaded in your DAW, system wide will shut itself off. However, the option to close the program is in an awkward spot. You have to click a tiny gear icon on the menu. There are occasional graphic glitches. For example, after closing the measurement software or closing the plugin, an after image will remain on screen. And it's not really that big of a deal. All you have to do is drag another plugin over it or another program. But it's something that I hope Sonarworks looks into and fixes. I'm not a fan of the stereo offset, partly because my speakers are dumb and only have one volume knob, so the stereo balance is rarely perfect. I wish a pan knob feature would be added in so that users could manually set where a mono sound is panned straight up the center. Be careful with the linear phase mode because it can introduce pre-ringing issues. Sonarworks themselves warned you about this. So if your ears are sensitive to it, then the optimum option truly is the best setting for most tasks, with the exception of recording. 
It does not support ASIO. So if your audio interface cannot play back sound outside of your DAW, like some Pro Tools systems can't, then Reference 4 will not work. The biggest gripe I have of the whole package is that it doesn't come with a microphone clip. I don't know why Sonarworks left out a clip, but they did. And ironically, the ARC 2.5 mic clip grips it perfectly fine. And let's not forget about the headphone side of reference. Besides the new presets, version 4 also received an algorithm update, which should help with accuracy. If you don't care about the speaker side of things, you can save yourself $200, although if you go that route, I do recommend getting a custom calibration which will run you $100 plus shipping to Sonarworks headquarters. I reviewed the headphone side of reference version 3 in another video, which I'll link to in the description. I really liked it, and coupled with Waves NX, I think it's the perfect combination for people who have to mix with headphones. There's also a wet slash dry knob, which is a very useful feature. Another reviewer said that they like it on 70 to 80%. I usually keep it 100%, but maybe I'll try that out eventually. Sonarworks does allow you to use different manufacturers' calibration mics, but accuracy is not guaranteed. So for $70 or sometimes $50 when it's on sale, I don't think it's worth the savings to take a gamble on unknown microphones. For this review, I put Reference 4 through its paces by doing three mixes, and I've also used it for a few recent video mixes, including the one you're listening to right now. What's my conclusion? I still don't 100% trust the high end. The same problem has been happening ever since I started using ARC back in 2009, which means that after I do a mix, I had to disable it and then reduce any harshness accordingly. Mids are fine and the low end is better than ARC, but I usually disable reference towards the end of the mix for final tweaks anyway. If Sonarworks adds a custom post EQ option like ARC has, this would be great. The complete microphone, speaker, and headphones bundle is $300, and I think it's worth every penny. It saves you time, and it saves you frustration. What you hear is the most important part of audio engineering, and like the box says, you can feel more confident with your recording and mix decisions when Reference 4 is on. This has been Adam for RealHomeRecording.com.